Did you know that LinkedIn has a special feature for your profile that allows you to highlight the content you're sharing? The main goal here is to allow you to showcase more of the content that's important to you that you think your audience is gonna love and it allows you to build a bigger following. And what's it called? Well, it's called the featured section. In this video, I'm gonna show you what it looks like, how to set it up, and most importantly, how to update it on a regular basis with your most popular content. Let's get into that right now. Hey, if you're just stumbling across this video, my name is Lowell Brown from Going Social, where we take the complicated out of digital and social media marketing and make it a little more simple and easy for you, saves you time and frustration so you can get on with your marketing efforts. Hey, before we get into the video, I've got a quick question for you. Now, when I'm talking to people and helping them with their LinkedIn marketing efforts, one of the things I ask them about is, when was the last time you updated your LinkedIn profile? And I get all kinds of different answers, but I'd love to hear from you. So drop me a note in the comments and let me know if you updated it last week, if it's been over two weeks, if it's been a month, three months, six months, if it's been over a year since you've updated your profile, just shoot me a little note in the comments and let me know. I'd love to hear from you. And also, if you have any questions about LinkedIn marketing, I'm looking for ideas for future videos. So let me know what your frustrations are. Let me know things that you'd love to learn about. And I will use that for future video content. Most importantly, make sure you like this video and subscribe below. Hit that bell notification and you'll get notified every time I publish a new video here on YouTube. Now let's get into the demo. We're gonna go over to LinkedIn and I'm gonna show you what the featured section looks like, where it appears on your profile, how to add it or enable it if you don't have it already, and most importantly, how to keep it updated on an ongoing basis. Let's get into it right now. Okay, we're here on LinkedIn, and when you first get to your LinkedIn page, this is how it'll appear. You'll see your picture on the left, you'll basically see your feed here, and if you were gonna create a post, you'd see it right there. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna see our profile. The way to do that is you click on your name right under your picture. So this is your profile, and basically the same view that people would see if they're looking to connect with you as well. Shows your picture at the top, you've got your name, a headline, and what's different about this when you've got the featured section set up is it shows it below, and this is exactly what it looks like. It basically shows a few pieces of content that you've shared in a carousel style. So it gives you a way to promote or highlight some of your content. Um, you could share a web link, you could share a video, you could share a post, you could share somebody else's post, and basically you're highlighting the most important content to you on your profile right up near the top. So instead of on a standard profile, people would see your information at the top here, and then more about your, you know, your description, your about and your experience, when you've got this feature set up, it kind of moves more of your content to the top. Now, how do you get this set up in the first place? Well, this is something that is part of a new kind of tool on the platform called the creator mode. And you have to have this turned on in order to see this feature. So if you don't have creator mode turned on, you will see that it's marked off here. And all you have to do is click on that and it'll turn creator mode on for you. You can see that I've got it on and it does allow you some other features on your profile and, and with LinkedIn and, and um, as a whole. Now this is a feature that's more for your personal profiles as opposed to a business page. And it does unlock some additional features and tools here for you. As you can see, um, you've got some additional analytics that you can see here. You also are allowed to select up to five topics of content or topics that you speak about or are interested in on the platform. This is again a way for people to find you on the platform. If they find you by similar interests, by using the search tool, that kind of thing. So this allows you to be found a little bit um, better by broad searches within the platform. The other things that you get with creator mode is you get um, LinkedIn Live is unlocked. You have the ability to add audio events. So it's almost like a clubhouse style thing where you could record almost like a podcast in a way. You could record audio on the platform as well. You can unlock LinkedIn newsletters and the following. 
All right, I wanted to stop for a second and just highlight two things that I covered here quickly. So the first is the newsletter tool. Now, if you didn't know, LinkedIn does have a its own newsletter platform that allows you to share, um, create a post almost like an article and share that to all of the contacts you have within LinkedIn, they get a notification. So it's a great way to um, encourage or or ensure that people see some of your more important content. Now I did create a video demo showing how to create a LinkedIn newsletter here on YouTube. Just click the link right above here. I've got a full demo showing you how to again, turn on this feature, but also set up your first newsletter and publish it on the go. Now the other feature that I did wanna quickly talk about was the follow feature. And that is another tool that's unlocked with this creator mode. So what the feature, what the follow feature feature is all about, basically it allows people to get exposure to your content, to see your posts and to see the information you're sharing and choose to follow you before actually connecting with you. So typically in a LinkedIn profile, people would have to actually ex get accepted by you to send a connection request before they can send you a message and before they can see any of your posts on the platform. By turning on creator mode and unlocking this follow feature, it allows people to see some of your posts, to engage with you, and they can choose to follow you even if you haven't connected with them. So it allows you to build a bigger fan base on the platform, and it is a really great way to, to build a following, and I do recommend you turn it on. So let's now continue with the video. We're gonna go back into screen sharing mode, back into LinkedIn. I'm gonna show you the rest of the setup for this featured section. Let's go right back now. All right, so we're back on our profile here. And as I mentioned, this featured section shows up right here. To add anything to the featured section, you would simply click on this little plus and you have the ability to add a post. So you can select a post that you had recently published on the platform. So I could choose this one as an example and just click featured and that would add it to that featured rule. I could also come here and you'll see now it shows up right there as the most recent one and it's a post. If I wanted to, I could add a newsletter. Now I don't have any content to display yet for that. Um, I could also add an article that I've created. So it would go in and, and look at all of the articles that I have created here. And I could again, attach one to be featured. And you could do the same whether you've got a link to your website or whether there's some other media you want to share. It could be a um, picture, it could be a video, that kind of thing. So that's how you would add items here in your featured section. But what if you want to delete something or what if you want to change the order? Well, that's what this little edit icon is right here. So clicking on that opens up a new screen and it will allow you to reorder things by selecting this. So again, I could come up here and I could just click here and drag. And now I've reordered this to be my first post. And I've got other videos that I've got here and I could change the order. You'll see that it does show whether it's a post or in this case, an article. So that is all labeled there for you. And if there was something that I did want to delete, I could also click on here and remove it from the featured section. So let me just demo that here. If I wanted to take away this one, I would just click on that and it's now done. Nothing even to save. You just go back to the featured section and you'll see that it all the changes that I made, they've automatically saved. It's that simple. So that's it, quick video demo showing you about LinkedIn, the featured section on your profile, which is part of the creator mode that you can turn on. It is a free feature within LinkedIn. I encourage you to check it out and turn it on, especially if you are looking to share more of your content to get more exposure of the information you're sharing on LinkedIn and to build a bigger following on the platform. Now again, if you like this video, and you wanna see more videos like this, just check out the playlist I've got up right here. I've got more LinkedIn tutorials that I've shared and created here on YouTube, and I'd love for you to check them out. And of course, 
Be sure to like and subscribe below so you don't miss any future videos that I share here on the platform. Again, I cover all things about social and digital marketing. And my goal here is to help you out to take the frustration and um, a little bit of, of that, you know, how to, to show you what to do, save you a little time and give you a step ahead on your marketing efforts. Once again, my name is Lowell Brown from Going Social. I'd love to hear from you. If you like this video, leave me a comment below. If you have any questions about other features on LinkedIn, I'd love to hear from you. It'll help me create new video topics for you here on LinkedIn, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much.